summary of Daf Kuf Dalad of Ter Er. Welcome. So, the uh, we were talking about the the neck as the uh, connection or potential interruption between mind and heart, and the. So the two main benefits of ensuring that the hashpa, that the flow of uh, divine energy goes to the right place is one, that uh, it, it doesn't get uh, siphoned off to clip up to, to impurity, and two, that it's more internalized, it's deeper than it, would, than it was even originally uh, before, be, even besides a, a clipper a, a siphoning off energy, it's just it's a uh, deeper and and and, and uh, more to the like to the point of what it what it's about once it is directed. For example, if you want something but what you want is hazy, once you direct exactly what you want and what you don't want, then uh, so blocking off uh, the what's not needed and what's uh, going in the wrong direction that also clarifies your real desire. So it makes it deeper as well. So then uh, he explains the difference between Yosef and the Shvatim, that the Shvatim, the tribes, they are from within our world. And therefore, when they refine, they're refining from within, uh, whereas Yosef is refining from above. And um, therefore, he's able to refine in a, in a deeper way, in a more effective way. Um, and uh, then we quote the Pasuk, Romes uh, Kalbegrenum, that uh, we uh, lift and praise Hashem in our throats and a, a double sided, double bladed sword in our hands. So uh, th this uh, uh, idea, this focus on the throats is because that's the battleground. It's between the head and the, the heart and the torso. And uh, Pare uh, represents the back of the neck, and, and Mitzrayim is the neck. The three ministers of Pare, the butler, the baker, and the executioner or butcher, uh, are there blocking in the neck. And they represent the butler is the, um, the air pipe, the baker is the food pipe, and the uh, executioner or, or butcher is the veins. The uh, uh, air pipe in general is about bringing down the air into the body. The veins are in general bring the blood up. And then the food pipe does both ways. It brings the food down, but then also that is converted into blood that goes back up. So it goes both ways. And um, uh, the they can all be used in an unholy way to siphon off from holiness. Um, and uh, instead, what, uh, what, what you want is to use them for holiness. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the the downward motion represents chesed, kindness, the upward motion, gavura, where you're, 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 I only want to go up, I'm not interested in anything to the sides. Um, and then uh, the, the, the baker, which is both up and going up and going down, but it, it represents speech, um, like uh, bread is connected to speech. And uh, wheat is uh, the numerical value of 22, which is the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. So um now the the uh double bladed sword um it, it cuts off the two problems of arrogance and overindulgence arrogance is cut off by the negative mitzvahs no don't go there stay away from stay away from this this is out of bounds uh so that uh stops uh, oh, arrogance thinks i'm in control of everything and then the overindulgence is stopped by the that, that our enjoyment and our passion should be directed specifically towards the mitzvahs, not just going anywhere to any type of pleasure. And uh, through this, we uh, refine the neck and then we conquer the emery, which represents uh, speech. Um, and this is, uh, there's uh, two aspects as with the harbi of Akashti, like Yaakov says to Yosef, I conquered the, the, the emery, which represents uh, unholy speech uh, through my sword and my bow. A bow and arrow, or as Unclos translates it, through my prayer and my supplication. Now these are actually connected because um, prayer uh, can only uh, can kill off uh, the uh, impurity and the covering over godliness, which is close by. Whereas uh, supplication, which implies uh, humility, because it's through be begging, saying I'm in need, please help me, please have mercy on me. That humility, that lowness, and that feeling a bit of that one spiritual state that has an even deeper effect, and that's like the bow that can shoot and destroy an enemy far away, which represents some a subtle bad which is not immediately noticed and uh, can only be destroyed through this uh, deep humility uh represented in kashti, the kashti which is both supplication and 
the bow. And when this is done, so then we've transformed the neck to holiness and transformed the back, which is the external where energy is being diverted away from where it should be, from the mind to the heart in a holy way. And now everything is directed and therefore even deeper.